So this is the time that I give my sermon. So that's what I'm going to do. So um, grab a cup of coffee, maybe a glass of sherry, um, whatever, whatever you do. Um, but uh, I'm, uh, I, hope it's, I hope this is relevant. So I want to begin with a text that comes from Avot de Rabbi Natan, which comes from the Talmud. And the story is, it says, Once as Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakkai was coming forth from Jerusalem, Rabbi Joshua followed after him and beheld the temple in ruins. Woe unto us, Rabbi Joshua cried, that this, the place where the iniquities of Israel were atoned for, is laid waste. Sounds a little bit better in the, um, in the Hebrew. He says, Oy lanu, al ze shehu harav makom she mechaprim bo avonotehem shal Yisrael. That um, oy lanu, it's, it's in destruction. There's no way that we can possibly seek atonement. I've heard this Talmudic story several times, but never before have these words felt so relevant to me as they do today. Many of us have read histories about the destruction of the Second Temple in 70 CE, yet Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakkai and Rabbi Yehoshua were two sages who experienced that destruction. Can you even imagine seeing your most sacred place, the Beit HaMikdash, the place where God and humanity intersect, the only place where one can make restitution, lying in ruins, destroyed, and inaccessible. Oi lanu, said Rabbi Yehoshua. Now lanu means for us, but how do we really translate the depth of the word oi? As I thought of what it must have been like for them, I thought of those who lost their homes in, in the fires. And I remembered the fire last year that destroyed much of Notre Dame. At the time, the newspapers wrote, as orange flames ripped through the Cathedral of Notre Dame de Paris, sending black smoke billowing into the Persian night, world leaders and former visitors from around the globe reacted with a mix of sadness and disbelief and shared fond memories of an iconic Catholic structure that stood for centuries and once hosted baptisms, marriages, and funerals. Gerard Arraud, the French ambassador to the United States, fought back tears and said it was the country's national identity that was burning. It was like losing a member of one's own family, one French citizen noted. For me, there are so many memories tied up in it. And to bring this image of loss even closer, upon returning to her house destroyed by one of the wildfires out west, one owner said, there's nothing but rubble and twisted metal. I'd like to know when I can go back and go through the rubble of my life. These were the images that came to mind as I tried to understand the depth of grief that Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakkai and Rabbi Yehoshua must have felt as they walked towards Yavne and looked back to Jerusalem. A deep sense of loss a loss of history, a loss of the comfort the temple gave them in their relationship with God and the nation, a loss of identity, worry, and perhaps despair for the present, and enormous concern for the future. I suspect many of us are experiencing similar feelings of loss. Thank God we have not lost our homes and our holy spaces in, in a physical sense, but I think we share a bit of something lacking, a bit of emptiness and loneliness as we transfer our services from the sanctuary to our Zoom, or as we get our children ready for whatever school may look like, or as we postpone or cancel travel plans, or as we juggle work and family responsibilities. While some very interesting and positive opportunities have occurred since the pandemic, I want, to acknowledge that, I want to acknowledge that all of us 
have experienced loss. For me this year, the challenges we face as a society are even more difficult as we socially distance ourselves from friends and family, as we become increasingly divided by politics, differing core beliefs, class, color, and gender, and as we, at least in person, are separated from our synagogue community and our family traditions. As if that is not enough, we are confronting a global pandemic with confusion and mistrust. And we are facing intense and dangerous situations caused by climate change and human carelessness. We are protesting and counter-protesting. We are surrounded by food and shelter insecurity. We are slugging through a divisive election season. And except for smallish bubbles, we mostly see one another only in two dimensions. Worse yet, we cannot sing together and comfort one another with our beautiful harmony. So have I depressed you enough? I must confess that like Rabbi Yoshua, there have been days when I've woken up and thought, Oi, Lanu, as I move between despair, anger, gratitude, and back again. And yet, when I think back to the beginning of our shutdown, I think of the millions of kindnesses we showed one another. Offers to pick up food, check-ins with everyone, meals provided for those who were ill, and hot tips on where to get toilet paper and flour. Our neighborhood was filled with offers of, I'm going to the store, anyone need anything? Organizations and institutions changed on a dime. People began walking and families played outdoors. Bicycles flew off the shelf. The air seemed cleaner. In so many ways, I think, we got back to our roots and began to think differently about what was important to us. In a sense, you could call it teshuva, a returning to our better selves. Now, perhaps it was because we didn't feel that the quarantine and care, guideline, care guidelines were endless. Perhaps as time moved on, the complexities of the situation became more apparent. The cracks in our own lives and in our society, which were, were barely held together with duct tape and wire, began to open. And we were, and we are, overwhelmed. Oi lanu, we say. There is no way that we can repair what's broken. But guess what? Our Talmudic story does not end with Rabbi Yehoshua's lament. He doesn't get the final word. That goes to Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakkai. Amar lo b'ni, al yera lecha, yesh lanu kapara achat shehi kemota, ve'eza, zeg milud chasadim, shene'amar ki chesed chovtsi v'lo zavach. My son, Rabbi Yochanan said to him, be not grieved. We have another atonement as effective as this. And what is it? It is acts of loving kindness, gemilut chasadim, as it is said, for I desire kindness, chesed, and not sacrifice. And what is Yochanan ben Zakkai's proof that acts of loving kindness will grant atonement? This verse from Psalms, which we studied last night. Olam, olam chesed yibane. The world, from the very beginning, was created with chesed, with kindness. If God created the entire universe through an act of kindness, we are destroying it with hatred and or neglect. We are destroying it through acts of violence and by separating ourselves from ideas with which we may disagree and people who may hold those views. We are destroying the world with our biases, known and unknown, and with our vitriol. We are destroying the world with our lack of respect for one another and for the earth, and with our ability and desire to shut our eyes and our ears from truths that feel uncomfortable. That is the true oilanu, 
of which Yeshua speaks. He worried that the Romans had gone too far and that there was never going to be a way back. And there are times when I feel similarly. But then Ben Zakkai reminds him and reminds us and reminds me that there will always be a way back. And that is through Gemilut Chasadim. So what is Gemilut Chasadim? We usually translate it as acts of loving kindness, feeding the hungry or visiting the sick or giving tzedakah. Rabbi Sarah Pasha Orlo in her essay, Acts of Loving Kindness, makes an interesting and beautiful differentiation between gemilut and chesed, and chesed, which I think gets to the heart of Ben Zakkai's pronouncement. She shows that the root of gemilut, gimel mem lamed, is a Talmudic word and implies a relational act where the donor has a notion of compensation or benefit from their act. Chesed, on the other hand, comes from Torah, and it's about God's actions. When we perform acts of chesed, we imitate God's merciful actions towards humanity without expectation of any benefit. She quotes Rashi, who explains that when we give either money or goods to those in need, that is tzedakah. But the time and the effort and the consideration that we give to giving that tzedakah is called chesed. Chesed, says Rashi, is when you give your heart and mind to the well-being of the poor person. Chesed occurs when there is an understanding between two people and when the command to love your neighbor as yourself is fulfilled. For those of us who feel that we have gone too far and that there is no way back, who are focused on the losses and too often can't get past them, to those who are angry or feel despair or who are lonely, our tradition says, be not grieved, for we have a way to get back to our best selves and the way we were supposed to be. And what is it? It is by reaching out and making connections. Right now through the computer, but later in all sorts of different ways. It is by trying to understand why our neighbors say what they are saying and why they may be angry. It is by listening before speaking. It is by noticing when others are in need and offering a helping hand. It is through gemilut chasadim, with no expectation of compensation or reward. May each of you, may each one of us find comfort and positive change as we navigate this new year with acts of loving kindness. Olam chesed Yalla lai 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 O lam chesed yibane Yalla nai lai 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 O lam chesed yibane Yalla lai 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 Chesed Yivane Yalla lai 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 I will build this world from love Yalla lai 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 And you must build this world from love La 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 And if we build this world from love Ya la 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 
then God will build this world from love. Ya la la, la la, la la. Olam chesed yibane. Ya na na, na na, na na. Olam chesed yibane. Ya la la, la la, la la. Shana Tova to each one of you. Shana Tova.